Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to add some authentication features to our application. In order to do that we are going to be using the Firebase UI library provided by the Firebase team. Firebase UI is a complete drop-in authentication solution that you can add very easily to your application. Let's have a look at what the user interface is going to look like. So this is how Firebase UI is going to look like in our application. As we can see we have here a series of social login buttons, one for each of the most common social networks. In our application we are going to be implementing sign in with Google and sign in with email and password. So this corresponds to the white and the red button on this list. If you notice the Firebase UI library is already present in your package.json and it's installed already at this point in the course in your development environment. So we are now ready to start using Firebase UI straight away. Let's switch here to our application and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some of the styles needed to display those authentication buttons that you saw in the Firebase UI repository. So the styles were installed together with the Firebase UI library and we can add them to our application by opening here our styles.sass file and by adding the following import. So this import that we have just added is going to go to node modules, to the Firebase UI folder, to the dist subfolder, and it's going to add the Firebase UI.css file to our application styles. You might find this still the syntax a little bit surprising. This simply means that we need to search for this file inside node modules. Let's have a look at the file. We are going to search here by the Firebase UI module. And if we open the dist folder inside it, we're going to find here our Firebase UI.CSS file. So this will contain the styles needed to display the login buttons. The next thing that we're going to need is some sort of login component in our application. Now we can do this in multiple ways. We can do a completely separate static page and add their Firebase UI. And if you want that solution, then there is a sample page available in the Firebase UI repository. But we can also create here a login component directly in our single page application. So that's what we will be doing in this course. If we click here on the login button, we're going to arrive to a currently empty component, the login component. You can find the login component under the app folder and under the login subfolder. Let's have a look at the component. So as you can see, this is just an empty component. It's just a starting point. Let's then add Firebase UI to our login component. And for that, we are going to need here a container div that we are going to be passing to Firebase UI. Let's create here our container div. We are going to give it an identifier. Let's call it, for example, Firebase UI authentication container. And let's style it. Let's add here a CSS class that we have prepared before. It's called off container. This is just going to add some very basic styling here to our container div. Now we just have to pass this container div to Firebase UI and the library is going to take care of instantiating inside this container all the necessary login buttons. Let's switch back here to our login component and let's initialize Firebase UI. So the first thing that we need to do is to define the configuration of the library. Let's define here a constant that we're going to call UI config. The first thing that we're going to configure is the different authentication providers that our application is going to be supporting. So we're going to add here a new property. The property name is sign in options. And this property is going to be an array. This array is going to contain the multiple Firebase authentication providers that we are going to support. So we are going to be supporting authentication using Google accounts. So we need to provide this configuration here using our autocompleter. And we are also going to be supporting login with email and password. We are going to access the email of provider and we're going to add it here to our Firebase UI configuration. Next, we are going to specify here what callback in our component should get called whenever there is a successful sign on of a new user. So let's add here a new property. This is going to be called callbacks. And here inside this property, we are going to be specifying the sign in success with off result callback. So this is the one that is going to get called whenever we log in successfully a user. Let's configure this in order to call here a new method in our component. Let's give it a name. We are going to call it onLoginSuccessful and let's bind it here 
to this callback configuration. So we are going to be passing here a reference to on login successful and make sure that you don't accidentally call here this function. We simply want to pass a reference to the function and just in case, let's bind this function to the this value of this component. If we don't do so, then the value of this inside this method here would not be pointing here to this component instance that could cause you some problems. So it's always a good thing to bind any callback to the same value of this that the component is using. With this, we have our Firebase UI config ready. So let's now initialize the library. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define here a new member variable. We are going to call it UI. This will be our Firebase UI instance. Let's assign this a type. We're going to be using the Firebase UI dot off dot off UI type. Let's now initialize this member variable by calling this constructor function. So this constructor function is going to take one single argument. The argument that we need to pass in here to this constructor is a reference to the global Firebase SDK authentication service. We can obtain such a reference via Angular Fire. We are going to start by injecting here in our constructor a reference to the Angular Fire authentication service. This has the type Angular Fire off. Let's have a quick look at what we have available here in this authentication service. As we can see, we have here the off service. So this is the Firebase SDK global authentication service. And this is what we need to pass to our authentication UI library. Together with that, we also have here available a couple of observables. Right now, let's simply take here the reference to the Firebase authentication service and we're going to pass it here to the constructor. With this in place, we are now ready to initialize our Firebase UI library. We are going to call here the start method and we're going to pass in here a reference to our container div. Let's take here our div identifier and let's pass it here as the first argument of start. So this first argument is meant to be a CSS selector. So let's add here the hash in order to indicate that this is an identifier selector. Next, we need to pass in here a second argument, which is going to be the UI configuration that we have defined here. And with this, we have started the Firebase UI library. The Firebase UI library is going to add the authentication buttons here inside our container. Let's have a look at this in action. We are going to reload our application and we're going to access the login component. We can do that using here the side menu by clicking here on the login option. So as you can see, we have here Firebase UI up and running. We have available sign in with Google and we have available sign in with email. In the next couple of lessons, we are going to be reviewing how these two authentication methods work.